Hi, I'm Char Dasper from CR Bronze Works. Today I'm here at the foundry to show you how bronze plaques and grave markers are made. This is the area where the markers come to get cut off. Right here is the actual uh, gates that they use, the extra metal that did not go into the process of the marker. And then right here, these are some markers that have already almost been completely cut off. There's still an extra piece on top that they have to cut off. As you can see, the marker is dirty. It's all one color. Um, and that's the way the bronze looks like before we actually polish it up and make it look good before we send it out. It is amazing to believe how beautiful a marker turns out when you go through the whole process and it actually starts at this point and when the finished marker is done, it is an amazing, beautiful marker. Once the marker has left the uh, cutoff area, it comes over here to the uh, cleanup. This is the tooling area. And there's, markers never come out perfect. There's always imperfections that we have to remove or there might be little areas that need to be welded. Um, as you can see with the process of the whole marker being cast, it's amazing that anything can turn out perfect for the first time. So there's always imperfections that you have to, to fix and repair. The back side of the marker, you can see this is the back side of the marker. This, is, this marker actually has a bronze vase in it. So he's cleaning the areas of the vase. And if you look at the, there's actually four uh, lugs on the back. And that is for placing of the bronze screws to be able to mount it to the foundation, either a granite foundation or a cement foundation. Right now he's drilling the vase hole screws. And that is for that canister that goes underneath the marker to be mounted to. Right now he's tapping it for the right size screw to go into it. And all the four lugs also will be tapped um, for the uh, right side bolt to be screwed into the back of this marker. As you can see, this marker has already made improvements of coming from the cutoff area to the tooling area and how much better it already is starting to shine and, and look more like a bronze marker. I'm James. And after the tooling's done, we take it over and wire wheel it to get all the burrs off of it. And then it goes to blast. And after that, it's straightened and then painted. Wire brushing it. Okay, after it's actually left the uh, area where the wire will, then it comes over to this area and it actually gets sandblasted. So the marker gets sandblasted to death and then it actually ends up being, now it actually is starting to look like a bronze grave marker. As you can see with this one right here, it's gold in color and it's, it's ready to go to the next step and that is the painting. So it heads over to the paint booth now. This is the paint area. This is where we put the brown paint on before we highlight the letters and the artwork. This process takes about two hours. Once it's actually done and it's been sandblasted and then it's gone to the paint booth and it's been painted and it takes two hours to dry, then they take it over here and this is a big um, sand um, sander that we use to actually do the satin finish on the letters. And so it gets put under this wheel and they actually remove all the paint off the letter and the border and that makes the golden color. And then they also take and they use a actual uh, same type of thing you'd use on your car to buff. So if there's any floral or anything that's element, they actually take that and actually buff off the buff off the actual floral, the cross, whatever it is, to make the shine and have that golden um, Bronze look to it. So after it's at left the area of polishing the letters and the elements of the floral, then it's actually back to the paint booth again for the final coat of the polyurethane coating, and that is the clear coat that goes over the top of the marker to protect it from the elements. Same type of thing that you'd use on uh, a car to protect it from the sun and that. 
Okay, now that we have finished going through the process of the casting, the cleanup, the clear coat, um, it takes 24 hours for the bronze uh, clear coat to actually cure before we can actually ship it. So it's overnight, then all of the plaques and grave markers are actually taken back over to this side of the, the shop and into the shipping area where Sherry will actually wrap it and prepare it to ship it. And uh, let's go and I'll show you that process.